All right, so let's jump into this um, stem cell thing. How'd you get involved with that? What's going on? Okay, so I answered an advertisement about 10 years ago. They had developed a product, an extract from a particular blue-green cyanobacter, which there is a proprietary process that they go through to get this particular extract out of it. It is an L-selectin ligand which uh, basically causes the bone marrow to release a bolus of CD34 plus adult stem cells. So we're not talking about embryonic stem cells at all. We're talking about your own bone marrow-derived pluripotent stem cells. The usual outcome for such stem cells is that they're usually released at a steady rate uh, at its highest when you're 18 years of age, and thereafter it's a downward slope to uh, senescence and ultimate death, basically. Um, however, you can never run out of these CD34 plus stem cells because part of the process of releasing it uh, causes the cell to divide, uh, thus leaving one behind and releasing the new one, basically. Part of the process of aging is that your ability to release them goes down. It's one of the reasons why we age. That along with, you know, the shortening of telomeres and that kind of carry on as well. So this product is a product which directly ligates the L-selectin and releases the adult stem cell into the bloodstream, where most of them become blood cells. A few of them become immune cells, sure. However, we have shown through research over the last 10 years that these CD34 plus stem cells can, and in fact do, differentiate into any cell line whatsoever except gametes. In other words, okay. anything but, but, but sperm or eggs. Okay. Anything. So, hair follicle cells, yes, it's not working for me in that respect. Yeah. Um, macular cells in your in the back of your eye. Yes, I was diagnosed ten years ago, at not yet forty years of age at that time, with advanced wet macular degeneration, mm. which they said was probably genetic because I'm a complete outlier and there's no way I should be presenting with that disease at my age at that time. Unfortunately, they said to me, within five or six years, you'll be unable to drive, and probably within 10 years, you'll be legally blind. There's not a damn thing we can do about it. There is some research being done with embryonic stem cells. Meh. There's some injections you can have in your eye if you like. I said, no, thank you very much. Um, I do not want a needle stuck into my eye. Thank you. Um, they said, don't smoke, don't drink, don't let blue light into your eyes. Um, have a good balanced diet. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, they gave me no hope at all. Wow. Um, so that was that. Anyway, long story short, um, it was about that same time that I answered this advertisement from this company. They were looking for a trainer to basically scoot around New Zealand and Australia on a two-week tour rotation and drop into all the major cities and run training sessions for the distributors in that city about this product. Um, and anyway, at that time, I started taking the product. So this is 10 years ago. Anywho, long story short, not only am I able to drive, I am. Not only am I not legally blind, I am not. My eyesight has improved. My prescription for my prescription lenses has got less, actually. Mm. I can see it with complete clarity. There are no black spots in my vision where there was previously, goodness. Now, I'm not saying that's cause and effect because it's an association and the FDA won't allow me to say it's cause and effect, but take that to mean whatever you like. So that's one example of what CD34 stem cells can do. They can also, for example, replace damaged cardiac tissue, post-MI, for example. The body decides what to do with the CD34 plus stem cells. What this product does is it does exactly what it says on the bottle. It causes the release of the stem cells, and then, then it's your body that decides what to do with them. It turns out 
the newly differentiated tissue created by CD34 plus stem cells, they have full length telomeres. Yeah. You could be, I mean, is that to say that like if you're a pre-diabetic, maybe it helps rejuvenate the, the pancreas potentially, or it's hard to say that? Again, we can say there is a potential for that. You, you need to do an N equals one observation on yourself. You need to take the product for at least six to 12 months because it takes quite a while for this process to occur. And again, we can say we can absolutely show with clinical evidence that this product releases stem cells, but they're not directed by this product. Your body decides what to do with them. And if your body deems that producing some pancreatic cells is a priority, then that's what it will do. 